Contrary to what scientific and historical literature tells us, Marie Curie was not only dabbling in uranium and other radioactive matters. She also uh, spent a lot of time working on what she called mind-altering machines. And the idea was that she believed there was a dimension, a visual dimension, that was accessible if the brain waves could be so adjusted to perceive these, these um, frequencies. And of course, uh, a number of artists tried to uh, talk, spoke with her, or read her material. Uh, it's quite secret, but it is available if you know where to look. Read this material and gave their version of how she saw the world. So what you're looking at is another one of those examples of somebody inspired by the, shall we say, off-piste work of Marie Curie. It's uh, quite beautiful, and I, I hope somebody one day builds one of her machines and allows us to take a look at the world in a completely different light.